The News, Saturday, August 19, 2000. I turned my back on my criminal ways. The day that changed my life. Dave Clark from Fairham was a notorious teenage tearaway living a life of crime. But then he found God after a bad experience with drugs and renounced his lawless past. It was January the 16th, 1970, when I stopped being a criminal and became a committed Christian instead. I was 20 and I got into a lot of trouble. When I was sent to Borstal, all it did was teach me how to be a better criminal. But that night, my life changed completely. I'd taken some LSD and had a bad trip. My thought was going out of my mind as I lay in my friend's garden shed and tried to let the effects wear off. I was so low I thought about suicide, but then I found myself calling out for God's help. Religion had meant nothing to me before, but suddenly I felt nothing to me, but suddenly felt Jesus' presence and it all made sense. After I'd recovered, I was given a copy of the New Testament. I had difficulty reading but within two weeks I got to the end. I learned so much. Friends thought I'd gone crackers, but it didn't deter me. As a Christian, my conscience was now a problem. So I tried to return some of the items I'd stolen and still had. Then I confessed to the police to 24 undetected crimes that I'd committed over a period of three years since leaving Dover Borstal in 1968. It was like trying to undo the past. I'd stolen all sorts and also used to sell drugs. I expected to go to prison, but the magistrates gave me a conditional discharge because they thought I wanted to be a martyr. It was incredible, really. Before, I reckoned religion was for sissy people who didn't know how to enjoy life, but now, I wanted to share what God had done for me. So I joined a Baptist church and became a lay preacher. It wasn't easy. There were times when I thought God had forsaken me and doubted his existence. I had a wife and three children, but began an affair I knew was wrong. At that time, I was thinking totally of myself. Again, I was brought to an end of myself and I began to pray again. And we eventually married and had a child. I felt God had forgiven my sins. I'm now 51 now and am an electronics lecturer at Fairham College. I tell my story to students and do other evangelical work. Some still scoff, but I've learned a lot in my new life that I believe can benefit others. If God hadn't heard my cry for help, I probably would have been dead or in jail by now as told to Simon Toft.